Today we're in Key West, Florida. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. It's number 17, me trying to learn how to ride a scooter. We're in Key West uh, for the week. This was still early, uh, maybe like Monday or something like that. So uh, trying to learn our way around a little bit. And Key West is all about getting out, having fun. You can rent scooters, you can rent uh, golf carts, you can rent jet skis, lots of things to do, you know. So we figured, okay, well, we'll learn the uh, we'll learn the island a little bit, learn our way around, and what better place to try to learn how to ride a scooter than Key West? And uh, for me, it didn't work out so well. I was apparently having a lot of balance issues, and I just never tried a, a moped or a scooter before. And something about that having both of the legs right there next to each other, right underneath the handlebars, it was just my balance was really, really throwing me off. And um, then on top of that, of course, we didn't know where we were going. So we got lost on a couple of different occasions. And we were trying to figure out how to get from where our condo was on one side of Key West over to certain parts of the, of the island where we were going to do stuff later in the week. And uh, so we figured, okay, we'll go out and we'll just use Google Maps and try to see if we can figure out how to get from here to here on the scooter. And so I also want to give a big shout out to Sunshine Scooters. Uh, they had one location down at Duval Street, uh, which is where you could uh, rent one of the scooters if you already have experience with one. Uh, if you're brand new to it like we were, they've got a bigger location over in Roosevelt. And uh, so they took us over there by like a little van, which was kind of cool, like a little shuttle. And uh, they were very, very patient with us. They kind of taught us basically how the, the basics of riding a scooter. And they had like a little parking lot there where you could move around and get used to the movement on the scooter and try to how to control it. And I think with enough time, I probably would have yeah, been much better at it. But I was just having so many balance issues because I've just never ridden one before where both my legs together like that. So it uh, turned out not to be as much fun as I thought it was going to be. But uh, I definitely could see where eventually later on, if I if I owned one or if I had enough time, behind, you know, driving one, I could probably really, really get the hang of it. But I only spent about an hour and a half on it, and it just, um, I don't know, wasn't as much fun for me, but QS is definitely a cool place. You see a lot of bike lanes, like right here, where you can ride the scooter. Um, you can take the scooter pretty much on anywhere you want on the island, as long as the speed limit, I think, I is like 25 miles an hour or less. So anything above 25, which of course would take you off of the main island, anything 25 or less, you can ride the scooter. So you could basically ride a scooter all through the little main downtown Key West area. You see like right there on the sticker how they talk about you cannot leave the island of Key West. That's because of the speed limit. So here we are a little later in the afternoon. We're back at our VRBO. We decided to go back out and uh, give it another try. And uh, still trying to get used to the whole leaning in to turn left, turn right. You know, uh, like I said earlier, just with some more time, I probably would have been better at it. But Key West is a great place for uh, for scooters, especially if you already have experience. You can go everywhere you want to go with them, so lots and lots of fun. 